Hi guys! Welcome to Reading Reads. I'm Zay and for today's video I'm talking about the books that I want to read in February. February. There's a lot going on in February. There's a lot of new releases coming out. I told myself that I wanted to prioritize more backless books um, and stuff like that this year. So far that isn't happening but it's okay <laughs> um we are just vibing we're just mood reading so today's video is going to be quite short we're just going to get straight to the point let me know what books you want to read in february what should i add to my tbr gosh i know you guys are gonna tell me some of the books that i'm missing out on um but let's get right into it have my notes on my phone so i have my phone here some new releases that are coming out this month so i have it I have several written down. There's a lot of new releases. February 6th, um, The Bride by Ellie Hazelwood comes out. I actually have this as an ALC from Prima Random House Audio, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I don't know. Well, I know what happened. I reread Crescent City this month, and that took up a lot of my reading, and so there are several things that I did not get to that I really wanted to. So as of right now, I have not read The Bride yet. It's possible I'll read it before it comes out. We'll see. I don't know. Okay, and then we have a love song for Ricky, Ricky Wilde by Tia Williams. This comes out February 6th as well. So I haven't read anything by this author. I know she came out with Seven Days in June a couple years ago, and everyone loved it. But this will be my first book by this author. I'm really excited. I know this one has magical realism. It takes place in Harlem and it's a black romance so it sounds like it's going to be really interesting and I'm really excited to see what I think about this one and to finally read something by this author. February 8th, Ashes of You by Captain Cass comes out. I've already read this book but this is the last book in her Lost and Found series. This is a single dad nanny romance. This book, a heavy romantic suspense suspenseful book yet it was really really good and I'm really excited for everyone to read it and experience this story gosh it's so sad to say goodbye to the Hartley family but what a way to end the series this was such a fantastic ending so I'm so excited for everyone to read this book it is worth adding it to your TBRs and then on February 8th, Circuit Time Valentine comes out by Gerard Darling. I have an arc of this. I actually plan on reading this one this weekend. Um, so like a few days, uh, it comes out next week when I'm filming this. So I'm really excited for this one. This is her first sapphic romance, Dark Academia, and Medusa retelling. This just sounds amazing. I know it's also a dark romance and it definitely deals with some triggering content. So I'm really excited to see what Joan Darling is going to do with this book. This is very different from some of her other books. It's a retelling, Dark Academia. I'm really, really interested to see what she's going to do here. And I just know that I'm going to be sucked in because Joan Darling's writing is so good. So, so excited for this one. Okay, so Holding the Reins by Paisley Hope comes out also on February 8th. Um, February, oh, sorry. This one comes out February 9th. I have an arc of this one. This is this author's first book, which is very exciting. Um, I don't know too much. All I know is a small town romance. Um, she has been putting some stuff up on her Instagram, and the book sounds really interesting, and I'm really excited to read it, and I really love this cover. So excited to read the new to me author and also support a debut author as well. Um, so it's be available on Kindle Unlimited, so check it out if you're interested. Then we have Into the Dark by Magnolia. Okay. Magnolia Parks Universe, Into the Dark. This is the last book with BJ and Magnolia. Oh my gosh. Um, what an ending to an era. I I don't know. I'm scared, nervous. I hope that we get our HEA with them too. We don't know. Um, if you've read The Long Way Home, then you know that the way that ended like broke all of us. So I'm really excited to read this one. I have high expectation. This is literally one of my most anticipated reads of the year, so I'm really, really excited to read this one. I really hope it lives up to the hype. Cross my fingers. Love Contract by Sophie Lark. This is the first book in her new series. This one is very different vibes than from the darker books that she's written lately. Um, so I'm really excited to just kind of see her get back to contemporary 
and I know this one's like an enemies to lovers. It has a bunch of different kind of tropes. It sounds like it's more rom com -y. And I'm really excited to see what she's going to do. I want to say this one is fake dating as well. I'm just really excited for this one. I love the cover. And it's just like a different vibe for Sophie Lark. And I'm really excited to see what she does with this one. Okay, and then we have Tempting Promises by Karen Michael. The third book in her Small Town Romance series that she just came out with last year. I will be getting an ALC of this book and I'm really excited to read it. I enjoy Karen Michaels and I really enjoy her book so this one will just be a really fun read and this one comes out February 22nd. And then we have The Partner Plot by Christina Forrest. I am so excited for this one, okay? Um, I really enjoyed the book that she came out with last year and this is the next book in that series, Interconnected Series. It's following the next sister and I know this one is like fake engagement, um, second chance romance. I just love all the pink on this cover. It's February, so it's like Valentine's, hearts, pink. I love it. I'm really excited for this one. Watch all of the ones that I'm looking forward to. Um, let me know if there are any other new releases that I should be adding to my TBR, but that's a lot. So maybe don't tell me. All right, so that's it for the new releases. The next book is The Great Undoing. Uh, which is the second book in the Daisy Hates series, a part of the Magnolia Parks universe by Jessa Hastings. So if you're reading it in the order, then this book is her most recent book in this series, and I have not read it yet. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't. I think I was just like, I have to wait a long time for the next book, and I was putting it off, and now I've put it off too much. Um, but all the audiobooks are out and I have started it on audio. I need to finish it. But this is Daisy and Christian's book and then, of course, Julian's as well. So I really need to finish this book. I must say, I think this is one of my favorite covers of all time. It's just so stunning. Um, and I love it. I love the, like, original covers. And I actually really like the Into the Dark cover. I don't know. It's just, it's different and I like it. So anyway, I need to read this one before Into the Dark comes out. So I don't know if I'm going to get to Long Way Home. If I want to review it or not, I think I'm totally fine. So I think I'm just going to focus on this one. February is a ton. There's a ton of fantasy books and things that I want to read because it's like, what is it? Fantasy February? What is it called? I don't know, but Anyway, I've been in such a fantasy mood, so I do have quite a bit of fantasy books that are on my TBR. So um, let's talk about those. So I like really want to read this series, the uh, Shepherd King duet. I don't know if there's going to be any more or whatever, but this has been on several of my TBRs. I really hope that this is the month where I'll read them. Um, I know this is like a gothic fantasy I really want to get to this one this month. I think it'll be a good month to try to prioritize it. So really excited for this one. And let's hope I get to it. Question mark. Last month I read Six Scorch Roses, um, which is like the novella that you should read after The Serpent and the Wings of Night, which is the first book in the Cousin Hayaxe series. And it is recommended that you read Six Scorch Roses, which is like a novella prequel to the series but it's recommended that you read it after and then go into the do the last the second book which is the final book in the duet um the ashes and the star cursed uh and the star cursed king and i really love six Wars roses as well it's so good i'll talk about that in my wrap up but i'm really excited it's time for me to finally finish off the crown of my axia series I don't know why I haven't yet, but it's out on audio and it's time. It's like, I, you know, there's no dragging my feet anymore. It is time to finish it. So I'm very excited. Um, I think there's a really good chance that I'm going to get to it because I'm in a fantasy mood. So I think I'll get to this one. I feel really good about it. Some friends are doing the read along of the Rave King series, uh, Grace Draven. So I read Radiance, the first book in the series. I have not read um the second and the third book so um i would love to participate in the read-along i love radiance i consider it to be one of my favorite 
fantasy books of all time. It's been a long time since I've read it. Um, that was like very early on in like my fantasy journey. So I would love to reread it and continue with the series. And um, so I am hoping that I can just maybe marathon them all and just kind of read them. Um, but I would really like to prioritize reading this and participating in the live show. The live show is on uh, February 24th. And we're just gonna talk about, I believe, like all three books on that live show. So if you don't know about it, they all have posted about it on Instagram, so you can find out more about it there, but I'm really excited and I would like to participate and read these books. I'm to read Redeeming Six. So the audio just came out recently and we're getting very close to Taming Seven. So um, I need to finish off Joey and Aoife's story. I'm scared, <laughs> but I'm really excited for it. And I really loved um, Saving Six. So I'm ready for some healing in their HEA. So I'm really excited for this book and also just to kind of like move on and into a different story with Taming 7. I cannot wait for Taming 7. It comes out in March, right? I think I'm right. So anyway, very excited and looking forward to reading this one. I want to read Asia Monique's Mafia Misfit series. So this is a black mafia series. I started it in September, read the first book in the series. Loved it recommend it lots of fun this is this author's first kind of mafia book she's ever written so um you know it's i'm excited to read more but i really want to marathon this series i think that'd be really fun so i would like to do that and yeah i really enjoyed it i really like asia monique i've been reading her books for quite a while um, and so I'm excited and I would really like to prioritize finishing this series. And I also want to read This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. This comes out in March, but I really want to read it now. Um, I am really excited to read this one and just read a new book from Kennedy Ryan because I, you know, the last book was Before I Let Go and that was over a year ago. So I'm ready and it's time. So let's do it. Wish me luck. Um, I'm always scared to read a Kenny Ryan book, to be honest. Not because she's gonna, like, emotionally obliter obliterate me or anything like that, because she is, but there's just nothing that can compare. After I finish one of her books, I don't know what to do, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna be <laughs> reading stuff, which usually happens. Um, there are, like, some books that you read. They're amazing, and I feel like they just make you want to like crave that feeling again. Then there are some books that you read that you were anticipating that are great and you just crash because you're like, what can compare to this? And that's usually what happens with Kennedy Ryan's books. So anyway, I'm excited for this one. This one has excellent early reviews. Um, so I know that this one is going to be good anyway because it's Kennedy Ryan's. Then lastly, the last book I want to read is Hostile Takeover by CCJ. So this one recently came out on audio. I've been waiting for the audio. I just love her books on audio. They're just like, I have several authors books that I prefer on audio. Let me know if you guys want a video on that. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but like there are certain authors that I just prefer to listen to because it's like a whole experience, you know, listening to their books. So it just really like elevates the story and that's how I feel about Christina C. Jones. So anyway, this one is a billionaire romance. It's the first book in her Wood Billionaire series. It is a billionaire romance. It is also a marriage of convenience. So I know there's like a my wife moment in here. I love it. I haven't read billionaire romance in a little bit. So I love it. I always love a good billionaire romance. You know, just kind of sprinkle it in every now and then. And that's what I'm going to be sprinkling in it there because with this book. And also, I haven't read a Christina C. Jones book in quite a while. And um, I need it. Okay? I need it. But that is it for my TBR for February. Let me know what you are going to be reading. Did I miss anything good? Let me know if you made it to the end of the video. Leave me some hearts because it's the month of love. <laughs> it's also like history month which is the best month, okay? Um, and it is a, a month to just celebrate 
you know, everything by culture, movies, TV shows, etc. Um, so I hope that you all will include some black authors on your list, hopefully every month, but um, especially this month, I hope that you have books on your TBR. I know I have a lot more than I mentioned, um, but I hope that you all will have some on your TBRs as well. But anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.